my man here kind of tell you what the parts are that we are using um, and just they can't read anything? You know what? <laughs> Oh, today is the day we are going to start building my custom Family Opera PC. Um, I'm hella excited, but um, you know, every PC is combined of very, you know, it has specific requirements, especially if you're doing a gaming PC like mine. And um, so we looked long and hard for all the parts that would be right for my specific build um, and my needs for you know video video editing and uh, some of the MMO games that I play and stuff like that so and we didn't buy any of that stuff <laughs> what so we looked long and hard to find all the stuff that would work for gaming and video editing and we didn't buy any of it oh no oh we did buy that oh, okay I'm back I'm I don't know what you're talking about. Okay guys, so months and months and months later, it is finally finished. Thank you so much to um, my amazing boyfriend for helping me put this together. Um, it is just absolutely everything I have dreamed. And so now we're going to do the final reveal. 
And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my custom 1925 Silent Phantom PC. Um, like I said, this this took so long to complete, um, and it, but it was so worth it. I, it's just like everything that I hoped it would be. Um, and thank you to my boyfriend for his uh, help with this. I literally could not have done this without him, and I learned so much in the process. Um, so, uh, just a little quick tour. This is the Azathor uh, case, which I just thought was so cool. Um, having that um, really just clean, modern um, kind of looking case in contrast to the fact that I was doing, um, you know, a theme from a, you know, silent film. So, we have our stock fans that are fully RGB, um, the whole case is fully RGB, and um, there were a lot of color options. We went with purple and then also a, a green color scheme because you see a lot of those two colors um, in the restored version of the film. It kind of helped to um, bring out the picture a bit more, um, and uh, so it's a bit of an homage to that. And, uh, you know, we may replace the stock fans at some point, but they're actually, you know, from what Tyler says, pretty decent. We have our um, Corsair GPU cooling system. This is our RAM. Aesthetic-wise, <laughs> I put in this little guy, um, my Lon Chaney Funko Pop. Don't worry, he's vinyl. He, he's Yeah, he's on top of a vent, but that vent is actually... Uh, not necessary because of the way we set up our uh, hard drives. So, if you're a nerd, don't worry about it. Um, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything. And I have a really good cooling system, and it takes a lot to melt vinyl. So, I did get the okay from multiple people to put that in there. This is the part that I wanted to save as a surprise at the very end. Uh, I did not show this uh, in the uh, actual like construction, you know video of the of this video but this is a fully custom GPU backplate and I know that doesn't mean anything to a lot of people um, <laughs> but if you are a PC nerd like my boyfriend is he's actually um, the IT guy for a church so that's why he has such vast knowledge um, but this um, just sits on top of the GPU cooling system. If I can get up under there, there are two fans um, on the underside of this. Um, and this just kind of sits on top as an aesthetic thing. Um, this was done by uh, JM Mods. Um, so if you're into PC building and you want something like this, go check them out. I had a great experience with them. Um, you know, quality-wise, and, uh, you know, they really paid attention to um, what I wanted, and this just ended up being, you know, everything I could have hoped. This is their Mirror series, I, I believe is what it was called, um, but they have, like, just a crazy amount of options, and they will work with you, so uh, go check out jmmods.com. They are awesome, and I would totally work with them again in the future. The design that I chose is actually um, the title screen that you see at the beginning of the film. Um, and so I thought that would be kind of a cool addition to uh, the aesthetic of the case and really, you know, hammer in that this, you know, what the, the theme was supposed to be. Um, originally, the uh, color scheme for this was just gonna be a static uh, green just because of the fact that there's a purple fan right there. But uh, uh, this, the way we set this up, the RGB for the back plate is actually um, connected to my motherboard. And so since my motherboard's um, color is purple, this ended up having to be purple as well. There is a different way to set it up to where I would have more control over it, but uh, we would have had to take the 
PC apart and we just did not feel like it was worth it. So, um, but I'm still really happy with this. I do think it's really cool. I originally actually had a, um, a different GPU plate that was uh, the Andrew Lloyd Webber logo, but I hadn't decided yet at that point that that's the uh, silent film was the theme that I wanted to go with. And it also, it was, it came from a different company and they did not pay attention to what I had asked for. So it just kind of didn't work anyway. And uh, so um, that was one of the reasons that this took so long was trying to find a different company to do the back plate. Um, also, at first glance, you can't tell that those are the other fans that go to the CPU cooling system. There's all kinds of insane things you gotta do when, when building a PC, but I had my boyfriend to guide me through it, and I, I couldn't be happier with the result. Alright, so now that you've heard all the super nerdy specs, we'll give one last tour of my long-awaited custom Phantom PC. so much for watching and going on this little this little journey remember to like share and subscribe please check out my patreon and my merch shop lots and lots of fun stuff waiting for you there i love y'all stay fantastic with a ph and keep your hand at the level of your eyes what